Hello friends, this video on oscillations part 14 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Please make sure you have watched all the videos till part 13 before going ahead with part 14. The motion of a particle executing simple harmonic motion is described by the displacement function given by a cos omega t plus phi. If the initial position of the particle is 1 cm and its initial velocity is omega cm per second, what is its amplitude and initial phase angle? The angular frequency of the particle is pi per second. Now let us now deal with the first part of the question. So the first part asks us to calculate amplitude that is capital A and the initial phase angle. What is initial phase angle? That is nothing but phase constant. That is the value of the phase at time t is equal to 0. So we have to calculate the value of A and phi. Now what are the things or what are the values that are already given in the problem? The problem says that the initial position of the particle is 1 cm. That means the value of x at time t is equal to 0 is equal to 1 cm. And also the velocity that is initial velocity is omega. So the value of velocity at time t is equal to 0 is equal to omega cm per second. Now with the help of this displacement function, let us calculate the value of x at t is equal to 0. So from equation 1, we can say that x at t is equal to 0 is equal to a cos 0 plus phi. So that is equal to a cos phi. Now according to the question, x at t is equal to 0 is equal to 1 cm. So this a cos phi is equal to 1. So this is one equation which we obtain. Let us number this equation as 2. Similarly, from equation 1, let us calculate the value of velocity. Because if displacement is given, we can calculate velocity. So x of t is given. So v of t will be nothing but dx by dt. So that will be equal to minus a omega sine omega t plus phi. Now at t is equal to 0, that is v0 will be equal to minus a omega sine phi because omega t will become 0. Now this is equal to omega. That is according to the question. So this omega and omega will get cancelled and from here we get a sine phi is equal to minus 1. Now we call this equation as equation 3. Now if using equation 2 and equation 3, we can find out the values of a and phi. How do we do that? We say that squaring and then adding equation 2 and 3. What do we get? We get a square cos square phi plus a square sine square phi is equal to 1 plus 1. So this gives a square is equal to 2 or a is equal to root over 2. So this is the amplitude for this motion. So a is equal to root 2 cm is the amplitude. Now we have to calculate the initial phase angle that is phi. Now in order to calculate phi, what do we do? We divide equation 3 by equation 2. So what do we get? We get minus a sine phi divided by a cos phi is equal to 1. 
So this A and A will get cancelled or we can say that tan phi is equal to minus 1 or tan phi is equal to minus tan phi by 4. So this implies phi, I'm sorry it is minus 1 so it will be tan of minus pi by 4. So this phi is equal to minus pi by 4. So we could calculate the value of phi as well as amplitude A. Now let us look at the second half of the question. The second half of the problem says if instead of using, if instead of the cosine function, we choose the sine function to describe the simple harmonic motion. That is instead of this equation, if we say that the equation is B sine omega t plus alpha, what are the amplitude and initial phase of the particle with the above initial conditions? That means the initial condition will still remain the same, just that the displacement function instead of a cosine function is now a sine function. So how will it affect? Let us look at the second part now. Now according to the second part, x is equal to b sine omega t plus alpha. Right, so this is x. Now what will be the value of x at t is equal to 0? This will be b sine alpha. So b sine alpha is equal to 1. This is my first equation here. Now again let us calculate the value of v. v will be nothing but dx by dt. So dx by dt in this case would be omega v cos omega t plus alpha. So the value of v at t is equal to 0 would be omega v cos alpha and this is equal to omega. So this omega and omega will cancel and we get b cos alpha is equal to 1. So this will be the second equation. Now equation in now with the help of equation 1 and 2, we will ca calculate the value of b and alpha. So again here also we will calculate it in the same way. Let us see we divide 1 by 2. So what do we get? We get b sin alpha divided by b cos alpha is equal to 1. So this b b will cancel and we get tan alpha is equal to 1 that is tan pi by 4. So from this we say that alpha is equal to pi by 4. So this is one part and the next part is to find out the value of b. So in order to get b we will again square and add equations 1 and 2. So we will get b square sine square alpha plus b square cos square alpha is equal to 2. This implies b square is equal to 2 or b is equal to plus minus root of the 2. So this root 2 centimeters denotes the amplitude. So even when we changed the displacement from cosine to sine function, the amplitude still remained the same. The magnitude of the initial phase angle also remained the same, just that the sine changed. Now let us look at another problem. Problem 2 states that a body oscillates with SHM according to the equation x is equal to 5 cos 2 pi t plus pi by 4. At t is equal to 1.5 seconds, calculate the displacement, speed and acceleration of the body. So in this problem, the displacement of the particle is given as 5 cos 2 pi t plus pi by 4. Now compare this equation with the general equation that is 
x is equal to a cos x is equal to a cos omega t plus 5. So this is the general equation. So if you compare this equation with that, what do you see? You see that a is equal to 5 meters. Omega is equal to 2 pi second inverse. And phi is equal to pi by 4. So these are the values which are already given in the problem. Now in the first part, it asks us to calculate the value of displacement at t is equal to 1.5. So value of x at t is equal to 1.5, we can find out just by replacing the value of t with 1.5. So we get as 5 cos 2 pi into 1.5 plus pi by 4. So this becomes 5 cos 13 pi by 4. Now this cos 13 pi by 4, if you see the trigonometric tables, you can find out the value which comes out to be minus 0 0.707. So this comes out to be minus 3.535 meters. So this is the displacement at t is equal to 1.5 seconds. Now in the second part, is it asks us to calculate the speed. So the speed at time t is equal to 1.5 seconds will be equal to dx by dt. First let's calculate the velocity. So dx by dt will be nothing but minus a omega sin omega t plus 5. Now you calculate v at 1.5 seconds. So we'll put the values. So a is equal to 5, omega is equal to 2 pi, sine of omega is again omega into t is again 1.5 plus phi is equal to pi by 4. So this will be equal to minus 10 pi sine 13 pi by 4. So this value comes out to be 22 meters per second. So this becomes the speed of the particle at t is equal to 1.5 seconds. Now in the third part we have to calculate acceleration. So acceleration is nothing but dv by dt. So that becomes minus a omega squared cos omega t plus 5. So in this equation we put t is equal to 1.5. So acceleration at t is equal to 1.5 seconds becomes minus 5 into omega squared is nothing but 4 pi squared because omega is equal to 2 pi into cos omega t that is 2 pi into 1.5 plus pi by 4. So this value comes out to be 140 meter per second square. So this is how with the help of the equation for displacement of a body executing SHM, we can calculate the values of velocity and acceleration. Thank you. Please visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos, try free online tests, Get the best quality study materials, study from the best tutors and mentors and much more. Thank you once again.